Hey Taurus, welcome to your end of year message. Um, your channeled message is on the board. Um, I felt like you're gonna have a wonderful Christmas. Um, I feel like you've already started planning for these celebrations. Um, you're just living and laughing and loving people. You're surrounded by family or children and friends and you're just overall generally happy, filled with love. And I believe a union is coming. So it may be that, you know, you invite people over for Christmas or you meet somebody here. Um, I just definitely felt a lot of warm energy that is surrounded by celebrations. And so it could be even Thanksgiving, right? I just felt like um, there's just beautiful energy uh, generating for you here. We have past life connection. You have known each other before. Romantic feelings, yes, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this could be the union that's coming here. Um, somebody you've already had a connection and understand it is safe for you to love, guys. I will leave any information you may need in the description box. How to contact me for personal readings and um, what cards I'm using, right? Okay. So we have the Hermit and Two of Swords. Maybe you've been single so long you're wondering, you know, is there somebody out for me or should I, um, you know, get into union with somebody? I've been on this spiritual journey now. Um, I feel like spiritual celibacy is so long that now I'm in two minds whether I should enter into a union. I'm happy. I'm feeling love. I'm, you know, you're feeling good. These feelings are real here. What you're feeling is real. Um, so you're, you know, wondering here, should I just, you know, risk all that again? Now I'm back to this point where I'm living and I'm enjoying family and friends and um, just generally being happy and celebrating here. Um, but I feel like you came on this spiritual journey for a reason. And I believe it was to find this person here. This is, um, your, it, it's not your only goal in life, but I feel like it's a major part of your mission to find each other. Um, you just may be in two minds, but it's a reassurance here. It is safe for you to love and what you're feeling is real. So let's see. And guys, do please remember to subscribe. Let's see. Two of Wands. This is definitely about two people coming together now. This is definitely about union. And it's about making an important decision. Um, from a place where you're healed, you've been on this spiritual journey here with the Hermit. You may have even become a spiritual teacher, right? Um, or have a lot of spiritual friends, like-minded community. You may, some of you may need a spiritual mentor, okay? And this is why you need help deciding here. Um, but it's saying it's going to be a big decision here. I think Aries just had something about a big decision as well. This is because your ships are coming in now. So should you choose to hold on to the past or go into the future? Of course, the choice is yours. We all have free will. You know, um, if you don't find each other in this life, maybe you'll find each other in the next. If you don't want to or you feel not ready to get into this union just yet, maybe you don't feel it's safe to love. Maybe you're feeling, I always get hurt when I meet somebody. So, no, I'm not going to get into union. That means you're not ready for it. The sun, <laughs> a lot of you are saying yes, though, because it's this positive energy around you. And I said warm. I'm really feeling the warmth around the celebrations at the end of the year for you guys. Like I said, um, some of you might be having Thanksgiving. I think Canada already had it. Um, but here it's saying, look, there's going to be so much warmth and family around you. You don't have to worry about being alone and out in the cold again or any of those things that are going through your mind. Maybe because of a person you've already met in this life or maybe because you've been alone a lot of your life, okay? You maybe don't want to rock the boat here, but it's saying, look, it'll have a positive outcome. I do definitely feel like I nearly wrote the three of cups on your board. Um, but it, I drew free balloons instead. I'm sorry, when I'm channeling, it's hard to understand, even for me at times. Um, but I've seen balloons, celebration. Another two, so we have this two, two, two. Um, it's about you had to have this time alone on this spiritual journey to nurture your inner child. Um, that can be for multiple reasons why your inner child needed that care, nurture. I feel even stability. 
Um, you needed somebody out of your life. You needed to be single long enough to know that you can stand on your own two feet without love, um, without somebody else being, you know, um, part of your life. So it'll all come together. Um, I feel like you're going to be very busy at the end of the year. So you'll want to be spending money. So you're going to be working very hard, but it's coming in one hand and going out the other. I'm feeling here with this two of pentacles. Um, so be careful not to overspend. There's no five of pentacles here yet, but I'm saying, you know, when we're excited and we're feeling love and happy, we can overspend at these times. So just be careful about that, right? You know, you don't want to work yourself into the ground just to buy all these gifts, you know. You want to be able to enjoy these gifts. So the Eight of Cups. Um, definitely saying goodbye to 2020 um, with a little bit of remorse, I feel, that you couldn't do more. That The whole world, listen, the whole world could do nothing, right? Um, I feel like it, it wasn't a wasted time if that's what you're feeling. Um, I know it was hard to be in separation from people, but leave 2020 behind now. New things are going to be revealed with the moon in the card here. Um, I know you've been keeping yourself busy, but there's something going to be revealed to you here. You don't have to linger in the past anymore. If the past is meant to be with you, it's about to come to your future. Ten of Pentacles, look at this, spending all your money on the family here and a beautiful family gathering it is. Um, so again, just what I was saying about the channeled message, time with family that's important to you. Uh, maybe this is more important to you than romance because we had to do this stuff in 2020, right? So saying goodbye to being alone here, um, I feel like the minute you know, okay, these people are coming over, I'm going to stop you know, decorating the home and making it very beautiful. I'm going to have, you know, decorations up here. I'm going to have bounties of food and stuff. Eight of wands. So here we see these eights as well. This is about um, getting some help from the divine to um, lift the obstacles that have been in the way for, for you guys. I feel for most people at this time, and also Cupid shooting his arrows there. So communication coming in. Somebody asking you a question. Um, and you deciding, look, do I walk away and end that cycle of love and just say no to love? Um, or, you know, do I take a chance here? I feel like you should say goodbye to sad times because I'm feeling more loneliness and um, more missing somebody. That Saying goodbye to that energy with the Eight of Cups and allowing in this Eight of Wands, this positive movement energy. Three of Cups, I said I was going to write it on the board. Um, but I definitely feel it. Celebrations, happy times, good news, maybe even pregnancies with the sun and ten of pentacles, extending your family. But it's absolutely beautiful. You'll be absolutely happy. This is also good news on the way that you may have been waiting for. So people always, you know, getting good news. Okay, you're pregnant. Oh my God, yay. <laughs> so there's, you know, um, there's a lot of celebrations and good news coming your way. So don't be scared okay, of the changes. Um, it is safe for you to fall in love. It is safe for you to be happy and laughing again and loving again. It is okay. Ten of Wands, yeah, leave it all behind you, okay? Leave all this worry, this concern. I see you doing a big project for like some sort of celebrations. Like I said, balloons, drinks, food. Uh, yeah, look, there's food there. Um, so you're taking on a big project um, to welcome everybody to your home here or something. But don't be afraid to say goodbye to spending all this time alone. It's safe for you now. Good luck, guys.